What's up everybody? It is another crumble week and boy do we have a beautiful one. Beautiful. We got two, what I'm assuming are two good weeks in a row and crumble has bought, brought back another cake. So it's huge, Sean. It is huge. It's the main event of the week. You can just see the box. It's just like, it's like, how do you explain it? It's like a, I don't know. It's just like sticks out in front of the box. I'm so excited. Back to back amazing weeks. Sean, honestly, this is what I was, this is what, this is what I was waiting for. And by the way, you can buy these like in the big like 12 inch uh, packs or whatever. So I think you can buy them for like 25, 26 dollars. And we saw them in the crumble uh, in the crumble store. Like they just have them laid out in the front. So if you guys love the cake that much and or you're you have like a party, I yeah. think that's like a good like good way as well. But um, but yeah, we do have a winner from last week's giveaway. So I'm gonna pull it up. Uh, it's uh, Izzy Danny 23. So Izzy Danny 23, please message me on Instagram at Sean the Food Cheap, and we will get you. Yep um your hoodie so. also send your size to sean yeah send your size yep. address all that and then we will get that sent over and please only send it if you're that that person if that person yeah. we're checking we're checking <laughs> yeah we've gotten a couple in the past yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so come on guys let's be honest you know that's that's the key in life honesty so yeah, yeah we're, we're uh just make sure to be honest y'all but yeah. uh but yeah but that shouldn't be too big of an issue but yeah so we got five new cookies this week and uh what we're comparing it to this week is crumble actually gave us a challenge yeah. on uh, last week's video where they were like, you should compare it to uh, snacks, like lunch snacks. Childhood snacks. Childhood, lunch yeah. childhood snacks that like you'd go to school with, maybe your mom and dad would pack you for lunch, or maybe you would even buy at school. Yeah, yeah. So um, I'm pretty excited. I will say one thing, Sean, like the new snacks nowadays, they're different from what we had back in the day. How so? I was Googling it earlier before before coming here and like a lot of snacks that I ate growing up, I feel like they don't have that anymore. Like these little, there's like these little cheese it grips. I don't know if you remember. It was like these little packets, guys, little mini Cheez-Its. Um, some cereals aren't here anymore. I don't know. I feel like a lot of a lot of stuff is new nowadays. Okay. Yeah, no, I looked a little bit into it as well. I uh luckily a lot of them, like, I don't know, I just feel like a lot of them are still around, but they're like branded differently. You know yeah, what I mean? That's true. That's yeah. true. The branding might actually he's right. It might be branded different just because you know how brands do over the years. And all these kids are just eating protein bars, you know, all day now. So that's oh, a, yeah. yeah. But yeah, let's let's get into it. So Beanie, we got five new cookies this week. Um, I can just kind of go on the top. That's ultimate peanut butter. Oh yeah, oh, and then yeah. um, that's kitchen sink. That's interesting. What is a kitchen sink? Oh, I, I'm gonna leave it until kitchen we get to the sink, cookie. guys. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna leave it until we get there. But you'll see, yeah. you'll see why it's called kitchen sink. That's blueberry pancake. Um, the one on the bottom is mint cookies and cream. Okay. And the one in the middle is toffee chocolate cake. That just looks phenomenal. It's just, it's dripping, Sean. It's, it's, it's just, oh my goodness. We had a lot of good cookies, and actually, a lot yeah. of them they we have not tried before so i'm really excited about this um because i think last week was pretty recycled yeah. so i think this is brand new if i'm not mistaken i think this looks like the cookie monster cookie the chips ahoy one yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's it's not that it's not that at all it's not the chips ahoy it's the cookies and cream on the bottom i think that's mm. the difference so i love toothpaste um i love mint so, yeah, let's do I've it i've never eaten toothpaste be honest no, no no i've never eaten it but like come on you know you know how you swallow it, it sometimes no, yeah. no, no, no I, I, I oh oh i'm not that i'm not i that i am not a Listen, I just put it on the put it on the toothbrush. You just you just you know do your teeth, <laughs> and that's really it. John, really? Okay. Yeah. Okay. But you have the first pick. Um, this this is phenomenal, guys. I don't know where to where to start today. Let's do kitchen sink. What? Yeah, you said I had perfect. Off the bat? Okay. Kitchen yeah. sink. Can you explain it? Yeah, y'all. So kitchen sink right here is a yeah. I'll, I'll let Beanie. You, you'll you can hear it in the crunch. So basically, wow. this is potato chips. It's pretzels. Potato? Yeah, potato chips. So you, you guys can see the potato chips on here. Look, here, I'll pull it up uh, so we can show the guys. Dang. Okay, that might be a game changer because I like salty over sweet. And when you mix salty and sweet, it's the best. And it's semi-sweet chocolate chips. So it's not like the regular. So I'm excited about this. This is a, uh, I respect Crumble for going bold and it's called kitchen sink. Why is it called kitchen sink? Because imagine it just goes down, goes down a kitchen sink, you know, like your disposal, you got your chips, your, just all random. your crumbs, all your random crumbs put in, put together in a cookie. Exactly, right? Super random. I like that. I yeah. like that. So, so what we do? If you're new here, guys, we're gonna eat the cookie, then we're gonna rate it at the count of three, and then we're gonna give our childhood snack. We compare it to something every week. So, I mean, if you want us to compare it to something you want, just comment below. You know, people need to comment. Mm hmm Yeah, like come on. Try out crumble. Mm. I don't know what kind of chips they are, but they're like Ruffles Originals, kind of like 
I guess. You think it's Jopo's original? I think so. Because oh. I think it is a little bit more the crunchy ones. Or ladies, like the, the, mm -hmm. the wavy ones, yeah. Um, I'm not reading. I, I got mine. Three, two, one. Seven eight point eight. Seven. Oh, wow. Massive difference there. 8.8, .8. wow. You want me to go first? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me, tell me what you don't I mean, like it. I give it a 7.7 7 just because I think the cookie is phenomenal. It's passing. 7.7 7 is passing. But for me, it didn't really give me that boom, like, oh my goodness. Like, it's good. Don't get me wrong, it's good, but I've had better. Okay. So I'll, I'll tell you why I give it 8.8. .8. I just like the crunchy aspect of it. I really like crunchy, crispy cookies. And mm -hmm. I think this encompassed that. And the other reason I'm giving it a higher score is because I thought the combination, I was a little bit iffy on it. Like, you know, like, you know, like pretzels, potato chips, it's like super random. But I respect the boldness mm. and I also just genuinely enjoy the cookie. Like, I think, I think if you like something crunchy, if you like something crispy, you definitely got to get it. If you like something soft, it, it might not be for you, but it's very crispy and I, and I loved it. It's very, okay. very crunchy, guys. So if you don't like crunchy, I don't know if it's, it's, it's for you, but okay, 7.7, 7, it might be too rough, but I'm sticking with it. Okay. I do have my uh, childhood snack or snack ready and i think sean i think mine i don't know i hope we have the same one but this yeah is, this is easy for me ready ready three two one ruffles, ruffles. okay i w i said ruffles ruffles is a good okay yeah. ruffles is obviously because when you right. mentioned it you kind of gave it away that's why like like in the beginning uh, i was like i was like oh that's what i'm uh, did like you have ruffles like before i said that so I, the reason why i like ruffles personally is i just like ruffles because they're a little bit more crispy and crunchy than lays yeah. not that i don't like lays I think I like Lay's, like, I like, Lay, I like the flavored chips. You so. like the red ones. I think the red ones that have the, 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 the little, what's it called? The, 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 the rough edges? Ah, oh, what's yeah, it yeah, called? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. No, no, but I, I like Ruffles. I'm, I'm a Ruffles guy, you know, mostly. Um, yeah. So, yeah, yeah I, I'm, I'm going to say Ruffles You know guy. what Munchies are, right? The, 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 the chips? No, I don't think so I do. So, Munchies, uh, so it's it's one of my favorite chips right now and growing up i ate it a lot so it's like flaming hot guys you, you've seen it it has uh, hot cheetos in it it has pretzels sun chips mm. so it has a mix of like basically everything you, you can imagine oh remember i remember sun chips right now. sun chips were like popping off exactly and so, in the school they used to do baked chips all the time too i don't remember mm. that they did they did yeah. they, no no the baked lays yeah the yellow ones yeah yeah i was gonna say munchies okay or, or trail mix something like that something like just everything just thrown into one trail bag. mix is a good one yeah trail mix is a good one Chex Mex. Chex Mix. Actually, I think Chex Mix is like a is like that's probably a good the best comparison. Company. I'm gonna say Chex Mix. I think that's Chex my final Mix. answer. Yeah. I'll stick with Chex Mix. Actually, okay. we'll, we'll agree on that one. Chex. Okay, this challenge isn't as hard as it seems. Crumble, give us a harder one. Yeah, I don't think Chex Mix is easy. Yeah, we did Chex Mix. We nailed it. Yeah, we nailed it. What's your favorite Chex Mix? Um, I actually don't know. I like the chip. The, 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 I the didn't chip, know there were different pretzel, ones. And there's one that little the little crunch one. Oh, I like pretzels the most. I'm yeah. a pretzel guy. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Now, guys, if you know, if you've been watching us from day one, you know what I'm picking. Oh, Sean yeah. knows. Peanut butter, get out of here. Peanut butter, get out. Let's see, that's why I want to mix it up because I figured like everybody would have been like, oh, they're taking peanut butter. If first. you're new here, peanut butter is the most. No, that's not. That's, that's for beanie, for beanie. Let's not get I, like, I like peanut butter. I, I don't know. Peanut butter and cookies don't belong together. I, I don't agree with that necessarily, but y'all, this is called ultimate peanut butter. So it's the ultimate epitome. It's the epitome of peanut butter. And the peanut butter inside. Mm hmm. And on top as well. Mmm. Mmm. Oh man, it's raining. I love the weather today. Yeah. It's a, guys, last week we had to turn the AC up like crazy. Yeah. It was just so hot. Um, is this stuff to your, the top of your mouth, right? A little like bit. Actually, that's the thing with peanut butter. Peanut butter is like it attaches to the roof of your mouth. A lot we, we, we went straight from crunchy to soft. Mm -hmm. Guys, if you hear that, it's it's raining. It's raining hard. All right, so I'm gonna turn up the volume of my own talk. Wow, dude, this is loud. It's actually raining a lot. What do we do, Sean? Bro? No, 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 we'll just go with the flow. We're just gonna speak a little bit louder. Oh my goodness, it's the oh. I got my score. I don't wanna forget, Beanie. You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, 8. seven point nine. Okay, yeah, right around the same range. I can't believe I'm ranking it higher than that, but hey, for a peanut butter cookie, Sean, it's pretty solid. If yeah. you're a peanut butter fan, you'll like this one. I agree. Peanut butter is just not my personal preference, but again, I thought they, it was surprisingly not as peanut buttery as I thought it was going to be. Yeah. I thought, it, and it's very soft. And I, I, I know what I'm comparing this to. I know too, I know too. And I feel like we're going to have the same one. Ready? Three, two, one. Nutter, Nutter butter. butter. Yep, yep. Yes. There it is. There it is. Yep. Nutter butter. Nutter butter. 
I was uh, I, I was debating this. I was actually thinking no, uh, like uh, like the Nature Valley peanut butter a little bit. Oh, I was thinking about those. That's but a I, good one. But I was like, that's way too crunchy and crispy. Yeah. Um. So that's why I went with Nutter Butter. And Nutter Butter has peanut butter inside as well, just like this one. Oh yeah. Right when you opened the box, Sean, and I knew that we were comparing kid snacks. Nutter Butter was, I com I said Nutter Butter for this before I even ate it. Hundred percent. Easy. And what's funny is yeah. Crumble has like a Nutter Butter chip like uh cookie all the time. So. Oh yeah. Crumble, this is easier than we thought. Come on, we need a harder comparison for next week, guys. Comment below. Childhood snacks is way too easy. I'm sorry. This is it's easy. gonna get harder though. This is easy. Yeah. Maybe like people should be like compared to like, like a dinner or something maybe in the future, or mm. or compared to a cuisine. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Let us know. All right, Sean. Oh, my turn. Well, let's do blueberry pancake. Okay. Okay. By the way, I want to say, I wish there was a little bit more more blueberry. On top. <laughs> right? Yeah. It's like, it's almost like. The blueberry is like painted on there. It's not really. Here, let me show y'all. That way you guys can see what we're talking about. Like you see, it's like barely any peanut butter. Yeah, I see. I see. I see the peanut. I see the blueberries at least. But it I looks see the blueberries. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You're right. There's some blueberries in there. That's right. I didn't even notice the blueberries. Yep. Time to get my weekly fruit in. <laughs> yeah. Always. All right. Mm-hmm. Hmm. No, you 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 have some of these. Hmm. Mm. I know what I'm comparing this to. Um, Wait, that's really good. I'm ready for my score. I'm ready as well. Three, two, one. Eight, eight out of ten. Yeah. Eight out of ten? Mm -hmm. Why? I think it's good. It just doesn't get the it back for me. But, you know, it's solid. Like, I would... I, I don't, like, it, I like the softness on the inside. I wish it had a little bit more blueberry, but... Yeah. I thought, they did, I thought they did a solid job. I, I think 8.6 because it's really good. When you think of blueberry pancake and a cookie, it tastes just like a blueberry pancake, guys. And to, to Sean's point, I think 8.6 might be a little too high just because there's not enough blueberry. Like, once you get to the outside, the the uh, the, the, the crust, you're just going to be tasting cookie. You're not going to have any flavor, any any peanut butter or the, the butter. I would advise spreading the butter around. On top yeah, yeah, that's right. Because I think it was like so, a little bit too much butter at once. We literally got one whole dollop in one bite and then mm -hmm. it's done. It's better to have it uh, spread out evenly. And with that, I'm, I'm curious to hear your snack, Sean, because I have mine. So, I don't remember necessarily the name of it. Okay. But I don't know if you remember those, like, little blue mini blueberries that you would get in those, like, um, like one-off snacks. It's like, it was just, like, four or five mini blueberries. I forgot exactly what it was called. Some of y'all may know. But it was, like, four or five blueberry muffins. And it was like mini ones. Little bites. Little bites. Little I, bites. I think it might have been little bites. It's like little. It's like a little white packet with like little, like four little muffins. Yeah, 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 yeah. Blueberry. No, 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 no. My, this one was just exclusively blueberry. It's we, not muffins. We may be okay. thinking of some. No, it is muffins, but I'm, we may be thinking of something else. Because what you're talking, what I'm thinking about, they have different flavors. They have chocolate chip. There's like little muffins in yeah. the pack. So it might not be that. If you if you guys know what Sean's talking about, comment below. But I'll probably Google this later. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh good, all good. What about you? I was gonna say Pop Tarts. Oh okay, that's a good one. You know, like little nice little outside crunch, uh, crust is like that. The inside middle has the filling, just like blueberry. There's blueberry uh, Pop Tarts out there, so that's actually a good one. No? Yeah, I, I agree with that. Okay. Yeah. So uh, Pop Tart for me, and then the blueberry small snacks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. whatever it's called. Whatever you guys can called. look it up. You guys can look it up. I'm just joking, guys. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Well, Sean, yeah, are we going with the mint? Uh, you want toothpaste? Let's do mint. Oh, come on. Everybody knows what we're leaving for last. Yeah. Everybody knows what we're yeah. leaving for last. Y'all really think we're going to do cake first? Oh, my. What? You're joking. Wait, Beanie's struggling. Sean, try it. Here, I got you. Here. Here, just. We, <laughs> Dude. <laughs> wait, this is actually. Okay, we got it. We got it. We got it. Dude. We got it. We got it. That, oh was, that was difficult. That was difficult. We went from soft to soft to hard to harder. And this is this is definitely the chill cookie. <laughs> I'm done. It, Beanie, it's just like... Guys, what is going on? Oh, my goodness. Oh, this is tough to... This tooth, This is the hardest toothpaste I've ever had. Hardest toothpaste. Mint. Oh, guys, this is cold. thick. It's cold. It's cold. It's cold. It's cold. It's a chilled cookie. It's thick. You can see all the cookies and cream, and you can see the mint on top. Very thick. Mmm. Twice the size of the other cookies. I don't know how I feel about this. 
The cream is very thick as well. Mm. What do you think, B? I don't know, bro. I don't know. I'm not a rank it, I guess, but for a snack, I, I, I'm, I'm clueless right now. Promo got me with this one. So before the video started, I told you, Sean, there's going to be one cookie that I don't know what to do with, and it's this one. I think I know mine, but it might not be as popular of a snack. But we'll see. We'll see what people comment, because I'm kind of curious. What's what's this, the what is this rain, man? What is this? I'm mad. Literally out of nowhere. And I checked the weather channel today. It literally just said sunny the whole time. That's Houston for you. Yeah, but you ready to rank it? Yeah, I got mine. Yeah, ready? Three, two, one. 8.9. 8 8.9? 8 I was thinking about a nine, too. You got to explain the 8.9. I just love mint, y'all. Mint is just you amazing. Like mint. Okay. That's a little bit of a personal bias. I think it's nice and crunchy. I think you're getting your bang for your buck. It's like twice the size of other cookies. I just, again, personal bias here, but I loved it. I thought they did a great job. Yep. I mean, for me, it's like, if you like mint, for sure, I agree with that. But I'm going to just keep my description really, really simple, guys. It's literally mint, cookies and cream, ice cream that's blue. That's what it tastes like. I mean, imagine that. I mean, if you like mint, you'll love it. 8.4 is good, but yeah. just personal, personal preference. And then for the snack, Sean, I mean, you you have one? I mean, I don't, I don't have I got one. mine, but again, I don't know if it's as common as people think. It's the uh, the mint cookies and cream uh, Oreos. The mint, oh no! There the mint, you go. Mint Oreos, yeah. Yeah, I, I know the the green ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. Th yeah perfect, perfect. That, that's what I was thinking is like the best comparison. I, I don't necessarily know if there's like actually I don't necessarily know if there's a better one, but I think that's as like close as you can get, right? It's I was gonna say cream. I was gonna say that one candy, that yolk. What's it called? The green, the mint candy. It's like circular. Ooh, I actually don't know. Trauma. It starts with a Y, you guys. You, you, if you know, you know. Uh, it's just like this mint chocolate. Not Andes is another one. Hmm. Mint chocolate chip. Chocolate. I, I know what you're Actually, I know what you're talking about now. Yeah. I can't put my finger on the name, though. But I, I agree with the Oreo just because it's cookies and mint. So I think that's a great But what's weird is it just tastes like... It, I know it would taste way different than the Oreo, but I feel like that's the best kind of... Yeah, like, what, what else can we compare it to? It's, it's mint. There's not a yeah. lot of uh, snacks growing up as kids that were mint. Unless you want to freaking put Listerine as one. I feel like mint is a old is like a little bit of an older flavor. Like, if somebody's older, they typically like like that a little bit yeah. more. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. The only mint we had was our toothpaste, right? Yeah. When we were kids. Yeah, that's all I can think of. Because I don't... I remember, like, a lot of kids, like, eating, like, oh, man, I can't wait to get mint chocolate... You know, mint ice cream. Yeah, I love mint now, but like when I was little, I was like, if I heard, if I heard a kid go like, I want mint ice cream. Where's the mint ice cream? Yeah. Like, I'd just be like, what is going on with you, man? <laughs> yeah. yeah, now it's cool when you get older, but I feel like if, if a kid saw us ordering mint, they'd make fun of us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> what? Let's see what? <laughs> Wait, Beanie, do we even need to cut this? No, well, we're not cutting it. We're not. We're Y'all, I was like... All right, but main event time. Main event. By the way, this is extra. This does cost more money. The toffee uh, chocolate cake. So do expect to spend a little bit more, but you get you get a pretty big, good bang for your buck. Yeah. I think we, I think this, this this cake has really good sidekicks this week. Like, high eights for me. Sean almost had a nine. Mm-hmm. And I think this is the main event. So, I mean, this has to be the best cookie of the week, right? Or cake. Mm-hmm. I just so... Oh. Mm. Dang, Beanie was about to hit that. Whoa. Mm -hmm. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. All right, screw the two bite diet rule. I took a second bite, y'all, too. I'm taking three bites. Diets come and go, but cakes, cake lives forever. I just want to show them what it looks like. Mmm. Mmm. Yo, it's a. Uh, I, think, I think we both know, like, where our score is. Just, I think we know. Um, I'm just gonna say mine. Nine point one. It's like I, I don't think there's any like debate that it's below a nine. I'm gonna say nine point nine point yeah nine point one. I agree. Yeah. It's just like what? I don't know. Crumble's been killing it with the cake game lately, but I can't tell if they're killing it or it's just different from the cookies. Yeah. But I love it. It tastes amazing. I mean, I don't know what to say, Sean. Like that. That's literally perfection. Every single bite was amazing from the whipped cream to the toffee to the, I don't know if it's caramel on it. There's something that's drizzled on it. Yeah. To the cake. Just, I would get this, like, literally, guys, I'm not even kidding. If it was my birthday, I'm throwing a birthday party, I would probably get one of these from the for the party, like, like the big one. Yeah. It's Father's Day this weekend, and I think a lot of people would, if, you, if you're thinking about getting this for Father's Day. Oh, that's it. probably why they did the, the mint, you know, for Father's. Mm, so, yeah. This is a nice Father's Day 
Yep. Oh, and the kitchen sink. I, it makes sense now. Yeah. Peanut butter. This is like a Father's Day box. This is like a Father's Day box. I can see it being good. That makes sense. Uh, but I, um, I don't know. Like, it, it's, I don't know how to describe it. But it's like nice and like thick on the inside. It's like thick and soft yeah, and Sean, this, is, oh this is really good. Um, I think it's a must. Like, okay, B, like we haven't, I'm trying to figure out what to compare this to. I mean, I have, I have like, I was gonna say one thing, but it's not really like a snack snack. I was just gonna yeah. say Miss Debbie's, uh, Miss Debbie's. Like, yeah. when we were kids and we would go to get snacks, we would always go to that one aisle before, like if you guys, I mean, I feel like everyone had this, like the aisle with the bread guys, before we got to the bread, there's like a section of like cakes, Miss Debbie's zebra cakes, Miss Debbie's uh, oatmeal cream pies, all that. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. So I think they for sure have something like this in that section. I agree. You know, I was going to say Mrs. Fields, like cookies, like they have like a toffee chocolate cookie. Oh, they do? Then, okay. I, but, I, but I agree with you. I, I'm actually going to go with the orange because like my, my, they're, 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 yeah. their cookies are very thin. It's like a very different like oh, texture. No. So Miss Debbie's like, me growing up was always zebra cakes, mm -hmm. like the big thick zebra cakes and i think that is what a child growing up would that that's their snack that compares yeah. to this as a cake zebra cake is literally i don't know i don't know how to describe it. it's like white chocolate cake amazing yes yeah, i usually eat two of those a day as a kid no their zebra cakes are good um yeah but yeah I, I think i think we like hit it pretty much in the park everywhere i'm uh if i was to make it a four box week Zoom. what i would do is i would get one of the one of these one of the mint one of the kitchen sink, agree, and then agree. one of the blueberry pancakes. I agree with that. I agree. I, I think peanut butter is just something you don't you don't need to like have in there, especially with this this week's flavors. I think it's like we it's just like that kind of cookie we see all the time, and I feel like yeah. the other four, we just like these are unique and we just don't see as often. Yeah, but I will say if you don't get crumble and you're not thinking about it, go get toffee right now. Like go get it this week. Yeah, we don't know when we're gonna get this again, guys, and it's definitely worth just. 100%. Like, the people that get one cookie, go get it. It's a must-get week. Like, I, I actually haven't said that about Crumble in probably, like... A while. Well, no, like, a not, month. Uh, yeah. Last week was pretty good, but, like, I, I, you know, last time we said that was, like, a month, maybe a couple, like, a couple months where I'm, like, it's a must-get. But I got I got no complaints. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank you, thank there's, you. There's some whip right here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, shoot. No, just... But overall, great week, guys. Uh, what we do every week is the Crumble Podcast, if you're, if you're new here. We have a giveaway every week, so make sure you hit that like follow button. We'll get to a giveaway. We're we're also on TikTok now, um, Crumble Podcast on TikTok. Oh, shout out to the um, the first person for following. We got to figure out who that is. So that first um, person was actually I, I saw it, Sean. So they, they, I, I checked. They, they don't. They've never watched any of our videos. Really? So it's someone anonymous. I'll have to DM that person. You think we have to be fair? We have to be fair, right? That's wild. Dang. So you're telling me a random person? A random post person following us. Oh, because you posted I'll, one video. I'll show you who it is. It's oh, that that's interesting. Patty zero Patty two oh. seven three. Whoever you are, if you if you watch our YouTube videos, please comment below. Like, the, like literally, the page the page was made public, and they without without even a video posted, Sean, they followed within a minute. Yeah, it was so random. I was confused. Shout out, Patty. Well, hey, Patty, if you're, I guess uh, Patty's a big Crumble fan. Yeah. Okay, that's real. Yeah. Well, I mean, Patty, if you're watching this, reach out to Sean on Instagram or Beanie Sports, and you just want a giveaway. Yeah. And if, if not, then I guess whoever comments below will pick you next week. And yeah, with that, we do this every week, Sean. Um, you know how we end it. Uh, just motivational Monday. Motivational Monday. Give us give us some insight, Sean. What's going on? Okay. You know, I think uh, one of the things I was talking to with a buddy yesterday was uh, I think we touch on this like theme a lot, but it's just it, it's just uh, you can control what you can control, but you can't control what you can't control, and understanding your limitations, like and not blaming yourself or others for like things that like are just outside of your control right like the rain that was outside of our control that's something that we couldn't have predicted and i think people stress themselves out too much about things that are outside their control like the, the one example that i would give is like if a comet's gonna hit the earth like tomorrow like don't be stressed about it like there's nothing there's literally nothing you can do now of course we have scientists we have all that that like their job is to like figure out how to stop that but you know, you can always go into like the little factors, but I think the the macro message for me is like, don't stress about things you can't control. And uh, if you're that kind of person who, you know, watches the news every day and you're stressed out by like various stuff that's going on, just turn off the TV, turn off social media, and I promise you, your your life will go amazing. Wow, that's mm -hmm. that's deep. That's deep. Yeah. I think a lot of people like that that goes above that goes above that go, that goes be like I don't, okay the. My, my saying's all over the place. What, what's that one saying, Sean? Like, it just goes, like, it, through one ear, through the other? 
You know what I mean? I, I'm sorry. Okay, yeah. Sean, I'm sorry. Okay, okay. I guess, I guess we both have different. I, I'm just saying, like, a lot of people are going to listen to that advice and be like, what is he even talking about? But it's true. It's so hard to control things that, that your emotions sometimes, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I guess take a step back and just breathe. Yeah, just take a step back and breathe. Yeah. Some things you just can't control. There's yeah. a lot of things that you can, but a lot of stuff you can't. Like, I mean, just just an example, guys. Just uh, I had a long day today. You know, I can't control that, right? What I can control is how I'm going to go about it. Like, I can easily pound and be upset and complain and do all this. But, you know, I'm smiling. I'm, I'm here. Sean sees me. I'm smiling. Yeah. I'm laughing, you know, even though, you know. <laughs> If you're if, uh, if Beanie's boss is watching this, yeah, he actually had a great day. I had a great day. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. But thank you guys again for your support. I guess we're making this video a little bit shorter than than, uh, than, than usual. Yeah. But it's all good. You know, sometimes you get out your messages faster than you know, faster than you think. But. Sometimes it's not about the it's not about the duration, Sean. It's about quality over quantity. Right. Yeah. Agreed. Well, hopefully this is high quality, but <laughs> yeah, let's. Uh, thanks again for y'all support, and again, comment what we should compare to compare to next. Crumble this week was easy, so I, yeah. I agree with Beanie. This week was easy. Give us a really hard one, a really hard one, really hard one. If, if no one else is gonna comment, Crumble, we we can always count on you guys to comment and let, let us know. Below. Okay. Shout out Crumble. All right, y'all. Make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks again for the support.